What's good? What's good? This is your whole swag boy from swagboy360.com. Today's episode, Dr. Dre's daughter is homeless and people want him to take care of her. Dr. Dre, we all know he's a billionaire. But a lot of people are really giving him a lot of static because he got a 38-year-old daughter out here with kids and she's living out of her car. Okay? Now, let me tell you something. I don't care if Dr. Dre is a millionaire. Okay? Woman, that woman is 38 years old, damn near 40. And I see all these comments talking about, oh, Dr. Dre, he shouldn't allow his daughter to live in a car. His daughter homeless. His daughter out here um, doing odd jobs. His daughter is out here doing odd jobs to take care of herself. Welcome to be an adult. Welcome to the adult world, little girl. See, here's the thing, right? I'm about to give you... I'm about to give you my theory of what happened. Now, I could be right. I could be wrong. This is my theory of what really down, what, what really went down between Dr. Dre and his 38-year-old daughter. When she, was a, when she was born, you know, Dr. Dre, being a good father that he is, he took care of her. You know what I'm saying? Took care of her. Provided for her. Then as she got older, you know, teenager, she saw her dealing with different boys or different young men, right? And he told her, look, 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 you need to watch how you moving, man. You need to slow down and settle down. Don't be out here smashing these random dudes, you know what I mean, catching feelings. Next thing you know, they leave you out here with a baby and, and you want me to take care of them. And she's like, Dad, Dad, I know, Dad. I know what I'm doing, Dad. All right, all right, cool. And then what happened, she was still dating these little, little uh, uh, Ray Ray type dudes, right? And she messed around, got pregnant. And Dr. Dre said, when you get pregnant, don't bring your ass over here to me and think I'm going to take care of your kids, yo. If you out here acting grown... You better, you better keep acting like you're grown. You better be doing what grown folks do when, when, when they do grown shit. But she thinking, you know what? My father's Dr. Dre. I can make mistake after mistake after mistake, and he'll take care of me. But Dr. Dre said, oh, hell no. You out here fucking with them niggas. Pookie and Ray Ray. You fucking with niggas, that's, that's irresponsible. And you having babies by these niggas. You having babies by these niggas. She, see, 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 on, on her GoFundMe page, right, she's acting like the victim. Now, this girl got four kids. I don't know how many baby daddies she got kids by, but I assume it's by multiple men. I'm assuming it's by multiple men. How come everybody's attacking Dr. Dre but nobody's asking her, her whereabouts about her baby daddies. Why your baby daddies ain't taking care of you and his kid and you and their kids? Why nobody asking him that? Why nobody is asking her? Why does she decide to fuck these ain't shit niggas? And you know what I said to myself? Where the hell is the accountability? Where is that? Because y'all not going to make Dr. Dre seem to be like a bad father. Because you know Dr. Dre, he got other kids. He got he, he got a son by the name of Curtis Young. I saw a TMZ video about Curtis Young. A TMZ reporter ran up on Curtis Young and asked him, how does he feel about his father not giving him a couple of millions of billions that he had? You know what Curtis Young said? Curtis Young said the responsible thing that adult should, that any adult should say. You know what Curtis Young said? Dr. Dre's son, he said, you know what? That's his money. That's his money. 
He can do whatever he want with his money. That's my father. I just want him to be my father. But that's his money. How the fuck is his daughter entitled and obligated to his money? Y'all don't want to talk about that. Y'all don't want to talk about that. All you see is a single mother, 38 years old, with four kids. But see, none of y'all are asking her what happened. What did she do to get to the situation that she's in right now? See, see, y'all want to be done with your money just and, 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 and just throw her $50,000. Nobody has asked her what happened for you to get in the situation that you're in right now. What have you done? Nobody want to know that. Nobody asking that. All y'all doing is treating her like a damn victim. She ain't no victim. She, well, what, well, let me ask you this. Was she a victim when she was having sex with Pookie and Ray Ray? Having babies with him? Was she, was a vic was she a victim then? See, what happens is that she's 38 years old, so what, what you see is a reflection of the mistakes she has made as an adult. How can you blame Dr. Dre for the mistakes that his daughter made as an adult? I could see if it was, if it was Dr. Dre's 15-year-old daughter homeless living in a car. I could see that. I could see y'all getting mad at Dr. Dre. I would too. Like, nigga, that's your 15-year-old daughter. Help that girl. Versus your 38-year-old daughter. And you know what? How we even know she even love her father, yo? How do we even know that? Because honestly, I've been around girls who got rich parents. They are very mean to their parents, yo. No, no, I, I, I got to be honest with y'all. I have been around kids who have rich parents. These rich kids, the kids of rich parents, they are very spoiled. They are very disrespectful. They, no, no, a lot of you not, yo. Some of the most rude kids are rich kids, yo. I, I, I remember I was over one of my friend's house. His family was rich. His mom used to tell him to take out the garbage. I don't want to take out the garbage, mom. I don't feel like it today, mom. You take out the garbage, mom. You take it out. It's your garbage. You take it out, mom. I'm like, nigga, you talk to your mama like that. And then, yo, nigga. Nigga, let me tell you something. Over here, Seton Hall, yo, Seton Hall College, you got you you got oh it was it's Seton Hall College. It was, it's another college where they, a, lot, a lot of rich girls be going to. Drew University, Seton Hall College, and Drew University is all they both in New Jersey. I've met some girls with some rich parents, yo. You would think these girls, being that they parents use their hard earned money. To put them in college. You would think they have so much respect for their parents. I I used to hear girls yelling at their parents. Mom, why haven't you wired me the money, Mom? You know I was going to go out today. To, you know I was going to go out this weekend, Mom. Where is the money, Mom? Mother be like, Rebecca, your father said give him an hour. He would do it, Okay. I'm like, oh my God, you spoiled little bitch. I know because they try to bring that same mentality towards me. See, they ain't respect their parents and they thought they was going to come around me being disrespectful. Oh, 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 no, no, bitch. I'm not your mother. I'm not your goddamn daddy, bitch. It's, you, your ass, it's, it, it's going to be some discipline and structure around this motherfucker. <laughs> Hell are you talking about? You ain't going to do whatever you want to do around here. So in closing, I look at Dr. Dre's daughter 
uh, just like one of these little spoiled rich girls that be running around here entitled, spoiled, think think they can have it their way. Can't tell them nothing because my daddy's rich. Can't tell me nothing because I live in a mansion. You just like one of them, man. You know what I noticed, yo? Another thing I noticed being around these rich kids, they have a, they don't have a good work ethic. Their work ethic is not good, yo. Because mommy and daddy, they want to give them everything that they didn't have growing up. Instead of teaching them the way, showing them like, yo, you ain't getting none of this. You ain't Once you grow up, you getting out this house, you ain't getting none of my money. But see what happens that these kids, when they grow up, these rich kids, when they grow up, they still kids mentally, man. Mentally, they still kids. They don't want to grow up. And they used to things being handed to them. Got to remember that. So that girl, Dr. Dre's daughter, should not be entitled to none of his money. He worked hard for that money. It's blood, sweat, and tears on Dr. Dre's money. And he'd be a fool to give her a handout. Not saying help her. You know what I mean? He could give us some advice. You know what I mean? Maybe he know a few friends that's hiring for certain positions. Hey, my daughter looking for a job. You got any openings? Maybe like that. But but just give you 50000 Just give you a couple million because your daddy rich? Hell no. Get your ass up. Keep working that job. Handle your, handle your business and take care of your kids. Not his kids. That's your kids. And that was today's episode of Like the Comment. Subscribe. <laughs> and I'll catch you in the next go round. I'll get you hello.